That thing's about to evolve, and it needs nourishment. We've got to stop it before it reaches those grain silos. Step on it, Wayne. You got it, Dr. Kane. Now I've been waiting to test the truck's new nitro injection system. That whole silo. He's a growing boy. <laughs> Look at the newly evolved Paramecium. The genus is able to sustain a unicellular creature with a biomass of over 10 tons. Isn't that amazing? Nope, that's disgusting. And I'm taking it out. Hey! Yeah, you said it, Gassy. Harry's gonna made that thing really, really mad. Not to worry. It's the final minutes of extra time, and Harry Block has the ball. I'm gonna send that genus back to the locker room with a blast of blue goo. Oof. Um, Ira, you don't just happen to have another version of the blue goo, do you? I think this giant slug thing has evolved past your latest mix. Be with you in one second. Incoming! A great tackle! Huh? Uh, it's looking like fourth and goal here. Uh, the goal being to eat us alive! Uh, Ira, I hate to rush you, but... You gotta slow that thing down. Wait a minute. I've got it! Try these vibrations on for size. Feel the rhythm, feel the beat. Look at that thing dance! That paramecium is huge! But it's still a single-celled structure. It has a semi-permeable cell wall, meaning osmosis. Diego Osmosis? Cuban long jump champion, 1973? Not really. I calculate that if we hit that thing with exactly 1,325.7 gallons of water, it'll soak it up like a sponge until it explodes. Where are we going to get 1,000 gallons of water at this hour? Ah, uh, uh, Dr. Kane, Harry, Doc! Hmm, great plan, Dr. Kane. One day I'd like to defeat the genus without being covered from head to toe in blue goo or drenched with purple water. We all deserve to dream. Looks like today's game was a washout. Uh, Wayne? Wayne! That's enough! All of this water needs to be contained and purified. And that's the last of it, Dr. Kane. Sorry for the mess. Well, I think we got it all. What do you say, Gassy? Hmm? Did we get the genus? Yeah, Gassy smells as fresh as a daisy. We must have gotten it all.
So you see, in order for a cell to grow and replicate, it needs nourishment, and lots of it. Rather like Deke and Derek. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget to swallow, guys. Consider it your homework. Uh, okay, Dr. Kane. Uh, will this be on the test? Oh, hey, Derek, what do I do, man? I, I got a donut stuck in my throat and I no soda to wash it down with. Well, Deke, if you're really desperate, there's always the H3O. Uh. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> uh -oh. What's the matter, Deke? Saved me from that Paramecium's quarterback blitz. Thanks, LT. LT? Yeah, you know, LT, Lieutenant. <laughs> anyway, thanks. I was only doing my duty. Ugh. LT. Open the door, will you, Wayne? You got it, Dr. Kane. It's stuck. Uh, don't worry, I'll fix it. All it needs is a little tap. <laughs> Hey! Door's open. Thanks, Wayne. <laughs> Something's wrong with Deke. Really? Uh, how can you tell? Okay, time for a little checkup. Deke's bloodstream is swimming with genus cells, but how did they get into his vascular system? Deke has a vascular system? Whoa! We've been really healthy. Oh, it was donuts and soda. Oh, and Deke had a little water. Hmm, sounds like it's time to initiate a satellite link and conduct a thermal sweep of Glen Canyon. Gotcha. You've been a very naughty genus. Let's see where you're hiding. The Glen Canyon Reservoir. The drinking water for the entire city. Don't panic. It's dammed up. We can contain it. Well, we could. But you see, every day our reservoir feeds several thousand gallons to other reservoirs downriver. We just call them at the reservoir and tell them to shut down the gates. It's not that easy. There's nobody to call. I just know you're going to say something I won't like. But go ahead anyway, ruin my day. It's all automated. There's nobody out there. The sluice gates open every afternoon from 5 to 7. It's like clockwork. Technically, I think that is clockwork. Zip it, Harry. Gotcha. That water is going to spread the genus into California and Mexico. We're talking an epidemic of half a billion people in about three hours. How did the genus get into the reservoir in the first place? We must have somehow flushed genus cells into the water table after destroying that giant paramecium. Oh, you mean this is all my fault? Of course not. But I hosed that thing all over the place. Oh, it's gotta be my fault. Look, it's not about whose fault it is. Doc, you better take a look at this. <laughs> Wayne, this is all your fault. Wayne, door. <laughs> I got it, Harry. <laughs> Uh, yeah! Ah! Oh, it's disgusting! It's 
vile. It's, hey, it's Frank Ryan, captain of the wrestling team. And those tentacles could win us the state championship. They have us completely surrounded. It's a squeeze play. <laughs> what do we do, Ira? Well, it's pretty rough. We can't use the alienator or the blue goo. The regression of human RNA coupled with the genus DNA would permanently fuse the genus cells into their bodies. Meaning? We would lose them. Forever. We can't just sit here. We have to act quickly. Uh. Step aside. Sorry, LT. Half my volleyball team is out there. You cannot vaporize them. The reality of war is we sometimes must sacrifice the few to save the many. You said it yourself. Half a billion people could be infected. Well, I'm not going to sacrifice even one. Well, think of something. Look, the genus is in a viral state of evolution. Using genus cells taken from Deke here, I can isolate the infection and create antibodies to make a serum to reverse the process. All I need is Deke. Check. My equipment. Check. And a whole bunch of time. Uh, no. I can't work like this. Harry, you have to do something. Sure, Ira. I know just the thing. The old fake and draw. Haven't seen this one since the Bangkok Tag Team Table Tennis Finals of 87. It's crazy. But so crazy it just might work? No, just crazy. But what the heck? All right. Pain? Lieutenant Lucy, I need you to run interference. Interference? Okay, Lieutenant. Now, I know you haven't read the playbook, but this is a tried and tested method. Just follow my lead. Hey! Ugly! Over here! That's it? That's your plan? Nope. There's one more thing. Run! <laughs> We've only got two hours left until the infected water gets released. I can't believe I caused a widespread genus epidemic. Hey, it could happen to anyone. I'm worthless. I can't do anything right. Everybody makes mistakes, kiddo. Even you? No, I don't. But you shouldn't focus on the negative. Make yourself useful. Open a window or something. Uh, they're already open, Dr. Kane. You see, that's what I'm talking about. You're not worthless. We've got the lead, but I'm not sure we can hold it. Quick, in here. It's closed. Piece of me? Come on! Chew on this! I knew college kids lived on junk food, but this is ridiculous. Come on, let's give them what they really want enough junk food to sink a battleship. We've got less than an hour. Let's get back to the lab. I've done it. I am a genius. I'll repeat it for those who have just joined us. I've done it. I am a genius. I've isolated the genus virus. Now I need to shorten the virus's lifespan. Then I can infect someone so that the genus will engage the person's immune system in a bitter struggle. As a blue beret, I volunteer. No, it's not ready yet. Wait! Don't! Sorry, Dr. Kane, but I started all of this, and I gotta help finish it. Refreshing? Ah, not bad, actually. Okay, Wayne, but I have to warn you, there may be a few side effects. What, like dry mouth or drowsiness? Not exactly. Huh? <laughs> oh! You've got to help him, Doc. I'm trying to. Here, give me a hand. Come on, Wayne. This is for your own good. 
straight to the tub of ice. We have to keep his body cold enough to slow the genus virus. How does that feel? Ow! That? Ow! Good. With one more injection of immunoglobin, you should be able to fight it. There. How do you feel, Wayne? Ah, you did it, Dr. Kane. I feel chromed out, washed up, and ready to ride. Good. Using your antibodies, I can now create the serum. Ooh, hot, hot. Ooh. Lady and gentlemen, I offer you Dr. Kane's patented genus vaccine and spot remover. It slices, it dices, it saves humanity. Yeah, all right. All we have to do now is get it into the bloodstream of those genus hybrids. But I don't think we can just ask them to roll up their sleeves for their shots. We won't have to. The lieutenant and I discovered that these genus hybrids just love their sweets. You got any more donuts? Of course! The infected genus cells need nutriment to survive. Sugar's the quickest source of energy, though not nutritionally sound. Harry, more donuts! Okay, but I'm gonna need more quarters. Uh, step aside. Okay, guys, get Duncan. We've only got 15 minutes to clean up these mutants and get to the reservoir. Then let's let it rip. <laughs> minutes before the sluice gates are open. Wayne, the reservoir, fast! Hold on to your seats, we're going nitro! <laughs> the sluice gates are about to open! We haven't got a moment to lose. Harry, go deep! I think that's enough excitement for one day. Home, Wayne. You got it, Dr. Kane. Well, I've got the test results, kiddo. Lay it on me, Dr. Kane. I can take it. The good news is, you're a big hero. The serum made from your antibodies defeated the genus and saved Glen Canyon. All right! The bad news is that your body's absorbed too much of the genus replicant DNA. But don't worry, everything's back to normal. <laughs> normal? Interesting side effect. Aw, oh, this side effect thing is awesome, Dr. Kane. Having a tentacle is the greatest. Aw, oh, man, I think this is so wicked. What about you, Wayne? Aw, oh, me too, Wayne. This is most wicked. <laughs> The 
the SS Enola. We've got to stop that tanker. Ahoy, SS Enola. Stop engines and prepare to be boarded. You are breaking quarantine. It's not stopping. We're running out of time. Wayne, we need to get his attention. Aye, aye, Dr. Kane. I've got just the thing. Full speed ahead. He's crazy. Are you crazy? What do you think, Dr. Kane? I think we got his attention. Uh, you can swerve any time now, Wayne. <gasps> Wayne? Hang on, playing chicken with a tanker is a real science. Note to self, never play chicken with an oil tanker ever again. What is it they want? They want us to stop, sir. They say we broke quarantine. We can't stop. We're on a tight schedule. Sir, she's coming around again. Requesting permission to come aboard. You are in violation of an international quarantine. Requesting permission to <sighs> All board. right, full stop. Let them come aboard. You weren't supposed to leave port, Captain. All the oil from the area is suspect for contamination. Captain, what part of quarantine don't you understand? Yeah, I heard those rumors about monsters. But I don't have any time for fairy tales. I've got oil to deliver. Not anymore, you don't. This oil is swimming with genus cells. We need to head back to port, pronto. All right, full ahead, back to port, pronto. Thing we caught the genus before it had a chance to evolve. Right, Ira? Ira? Uh, you know I hate that <gasps> look. It's replicating with unprecedented <gasps> vitality. And that's bad, right? Pressure overload, central tanks three, four, and five. Emergency containment. <gasps> We got company! on these. I see that. Somehow they've melded their DNA with the petroleum molecules. It's amazing. No, it's annoying. <laughs> Doc, this is no time for spring cleaning. Au contraire, Lieutenant Lucy. It's time to clean up this mess. The coffee's acidic nature is just the stringent element we need. Oh, remind me to switch to decaf. We gotta hurry. We can't let the genus get off this ship. Done. Go! Go! This should eliminate the genus in the tanks. Keep your eyes peeled for anything we might have missed on deck. Doc, we have a problem. No! They've already made it to that island. Oh, so much for our three-hour tour. We have to stop the genus from spreading over the Galapagos Islands.
No sign of them. The volcanogenic rock formations are interfering with the heat signatures. Wayne, take Gassy and see if you can pick up the scent. <laughs> no, who wants a walkie? Huh? Who wants a walkie? That's not fun. Hey, Ira, check out the big turtle. Oh, this couldn't be worse. Science is on the line here, and I'm not about to be labeled throughout history as the scientist that lost the Galapagos Islands. Yeah, other scientists can say the cruelest things. Aw, oh, we wouldn't want the mean scientist to hurt your feelings, Dr. Kane. Don't you have some tracking to do? Oh, uh, sorry, Dr. Kane. We're on it. Mm. Harry, this is very serious. Just look at this turtle, for instance. You see, it's got 53 painted on it. Do you know what that means? That, uh, somebody vandalized the turtle? No! This turtle is being studied and tracked by scientists to help us learn more about life. From a giant turtle? These are the Galapagos Islands, Darwin's finest moment, the birthplace of the theory of evolution. Hmm, survival of the fittest. Works for me. Let's go hunting. Aw, oh, good, Gassy, good. Uh, Dr. Kane, Gassy found the genus, or at least the trail. They've evolved into stage two reptilian form. Stay alert, people. No sweat. Look, we got them trapped in that canyon up there. Come on. You should have made Gassy with a stealth mode. We'll never gain the element of surprise. Hold your fire. It's only an iguana. Hmm. No signs of the genus anywhere. Oh, come on, you missing stink. No more false alarms. My nose can't take it. And the footprints leave here, but then disappear. Smells like a trap. Nah, that's just gassy. Get ready. Here they come. Locked and loaded. Now batting for the alienators, Harry Block. And the crowd goes wild. Oh, <laughs> Let's get ready to rumba. Cha-cha-cha. What? What? Nothing. Still nothing. Oh, I can feel my hair growing. Gassy, enough with the false alarms already. Hey, cut Gassy some slack. He's never been long before. Gassy was right. Huh? Time out. It's a sneak play. I hate sneak plays. Look at the speed of replication. I estimate that in 2.3 seconds they'll develop, don't tell me, an immunity to the current mix of blue goo. Exactly. I'm gonna need a little more time to find the right chemicals. We don't have time. No! Gee, you should be a little more careful where you step, LT. I'm open to suggestions here. Anyone? Anyone? LT, are you a good bowler? Huh? 
Now, give me a hand with this. I'm going for a 7-10 split. Pins like that are gonna bring down my average. Look at the amazing adaptability. Look, enough being amazed, I do something! Should have worked. Should have? We're running down the last few seconds on the clock here, Ira. Nothing's working. What just happened? Harry, you're a genius. Funny. I don't feel like a genius right now. That's it. Guanadine. Well, almost. A more impure form of the strong alkaline crystalline compound. Guano is an amazing substance. We, we don't, don't care. care! It can be used in everything from solvents to fertilizers to plastic food containers. Just make it work! There! said science wasn't really useful. Once again, science saves the day. We've got them on the run. Come on! That's the last of it, Dr. Kane. The Galapagos Islands are safe to evolve any way they like from now on. <sighs> A job well done. I'm glad that's over. Said it should take care of it. It didn't work. I knew that crackpot didn't know what he was talking about. Abandon ship! Abandon ship! Uh, that doesn't sound too good. Need a lot more bat doo doo. My calculations indicate that the genus will reach the shore in less than 22 minutes, and I need 200 pounds of guanidine to create the right mix. Okay, I'll just head on over to bed, bath, and guanidine. I need to prep the selenium. So, who wants to go over to the rock and be the big hero? Come on, guys, don't think of it as guano, think of it as part of science. Science is beautiful. It stinks. How can you whistle at a time like this? Hey, come on, we're saving the world. Harry, why do you bother? You're talking to a boy whose best friend is a walking stench cloud. Hey. Whoa. You're not helping here, Gassy. The good news is that I can now create the special mix using selenium and guanidine in 3.8 minutes. The bad news is the genus oil reptiles will hit the island in 2.6 minutes. Never fear, Harry Block is here. This reminds me of the All Water Sports Open of last year. I've got a plan. Hot 
dog and Harry? Aye, aye. Let's push these things back a little. Hey, oil dude! Eat my wick! Hey, where do you think you're going? One of them is getting away. Not anymore. Mix is ready. We're on our way. Push him back. Yeah. They're turning away from the islands. Roger that, Lieutenant. That's odd. Harry, do you have a visual? Yeah, but I wish I didn't. It's merging together into one really big monster, and it's moving! Which way? Right towards you! Fascinating. Smash us to pieces! Quick, wait! Eject! Eject! I'll be right behind you! Dr. Kane, I... Keep your arms, legs, and genetically engineered stink monsters inside the seat at all times. Wayne's clear! Jack, Ira! I can't, Harry. I won't. We barely have enough of the mix to make it work. It's got to be placed precisely in the center of that thing. There's only one way to do that. No, no, Ira, don't! You won't make it! I'm prepared for that. The Galapagos Islands need to be there, safe and pristine for the next generation and the generations to come. And I'm doing this for all the amazing creatures that live there, for the memory of Charles Darwin himself, and especially for giant tortoise number 53. <gasps> Visual contact. Come on, Doc. Come on. Wait. I see something. Hey. This one's for you, Charlie Darwin. is devolved and contained and the oil slick it created is being cleaned up. I'd say today was a pretty good day, especially for science. Charles Darwin came to these islands and was inspired. I mean, this majestic animal could be old enough to have actually been here when Darwin set foot on this beach. Oh, just think of what this tortoise could teach us. The wisdom of the ages, what is it seeking? Why is it crossing this beach? What great purpose is on its mind? Isn't that beautiful? Now that's science. Observing nature in its pristine condition. Pure, perfect, golden science. Whatever you say, Dr. K. Hank, this is Dory. Hold up on lunch. I gotta spray the 40 acres over at the McMullen place. He's been complaining about bugs. Well, we'll take care of that for him. There won't be a bug left crawling by the time I'm finished. Thank <laughs> you. 
Absolutely amazing. A few short hours ago, this innocuous little genus cell was a 50-foot hybrid anaconda, terrorizing villagers in the lowlands of the Rio Grande. Yep, it's amazing what a big devolver and a little blue goo will do. So, what are you up to, Lieutenant Lucy? I'm preparing my report to General Woodman regarding the mission. Uh-huh. Does it include my flagrant disregard for government property? Dr. Kane, I make my reports with complete honesty. So that's a yes. Well, good. He'll like that. I hope you all realize what I gave up to save the world. In the last 48 hours alone, I've missed 76 major sporting events. Ah, the sacrifices we make. I better put that in your report too, Lieutenant. We're home, Gassy. Oh, yes, we are. Good Gassy. Oh, blah, blah, blah. No. Does Gassy want to go walksies? Huh? Gassy want to go walksies? Guys, it's Dr. Reed. What's your present location? We're heading home after a long couple of days fighting the genus. Well, Ira, I've got good news and I've got bad news. What's the good news? Your radio works. Whoa, that is great news, Dr. Reed. The bad news is a satellite imaging scanner picked up genus activity. There's another outbreak. I'm sending you the details. We're on it. Get ready to roll, people. Wayne, a little move music, please. Let's go save the world. So... Where's the purple menace? Dr. Reed's report indicated a genus infestation in these soy fields. I'm running a thermal imaging sweep. Nothing. No genus, no scopes, not even an angry possum. Well, it looks like a false alarm. A false alarm? Quick, if Wayne sounds the siren, we'll get back to the college in time for the lacrosse championships. Whoa, whoa, time out, Harry. When it comes to the survival of the human race, it's always best to get a second opinion. Wayne, how's Gassy doing? I think something's confusing Gassy's nose, Dr. Kane. Maybe it's this new fertilizer. That's no fertilizer. They're post-mutagenic cocoons, but not like any I've ever seen before. Hurry up, you guys! If there's no genus monster waiting on the sidelines, I'd like to see some of the game before it gets called for rain. Harry, the National Weather Service is calling for only a 2% chance of precipitation. There's not gonna be any storm today. Oh yeah? Then what do you call that? Uh, that's no storm cloud. That's a swarm of wasps! Bugs! It had to be bugs! Dr. Kane, <laughs> from the smell of gassy, I'd say those aren't just any old wasps. Genus. Okay, guys, you know what to do. Lock and yodel. That's lock and load. Why do I even bother? Ready. 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 Scary block, serving for the home team. Unsportsmanlike? Well, their team spirit, however, is quite impressive. Move in. I'll cover you. Those wasps are draining our external power differential faster than Gassy can ruin a party. Oh, what's the game plan, Ira? Don't worry. Remember, I'm a genius. I'll come up with something. I hope. <laughs> Insecticide! Quick! Helmets on! We need to get the cover so I can find a way to fight these things. Let's get out of here. Dr. Kane! Look! Oh no! Come on, Ira. Let's get out of here. What are you doing? Don't ask questions. Just tow. Uh, 
Well, nothing broken. You're gonna be fine. So, Harry, what's the situation? We're trapped in a barn with a swarm of genus wasps trying to kill us. Other than that, things are pretty peachy. According to my calculations, when the genus was sprayed by the pesticide in these tanks, it caused the flatworms to evolve through a larva stage, creating a protective cocoon. Inside the cocoon, the genus assimilated the pesticide into its DNA, synthesizing a super immunity and emerging as those ugly things out there. You're saying that when I sprayed those bugs, instead of wiping them out, I only made them stronger? It's not your fault. These aren't your everyday bugs. <laughs> yeah, they're more like your end of the world kind of bugs. Uh, luckily, I do have an idea. It's gonna take all the selenium we have, the pesticide thinner in the plane's right tank, and some upgrades to the truck. Upgrades? Wicked! The controls are sluggish. The weight of the tanks is interfering with the balance. Going in. Lieutenant! Lieutenant! Are you alright? Okay, okay, Doc. But I lost the target. They're right behind you, LT. I suggest that you take along the wing, round the sweeper, and then cross it into midfield. Can the soccer chatter, Harry. This is a jet plane. Get off my tail! LT, you are the man! <laughs> oh, I mean, you are the woman. I mean, ah, uh, uh, good job. And that's the last one, Dr. Kane. Good work, people. Let's go tell the farmer that we've saved his crops from the evolutionary scourge of the genus. Wayne, open the door. You got it, Dr. Kane. Uh, Wayne, close the door, please. Hmm. Careful, these are guardian wasps, stationed to protect a hive. Yeah? These guys are hitting the shower. And I'm supplying the shampoo. Hey, Cardi, catch! Hey! Oh! Harry! Come on, we have to save him. Harry, can you hear me? Come in, Harry! Ira, hurry! My new friend here wants to make a play date, and I think he plans on playing to win! I'm picking up your heat signature on the satellite link. We're on our way. Ira, they put me in some sort of cell and they've sealed me in. And there's some nasty looking plug thing in here with me. I think it's a worm. A big, slimy, ugly worm. Worm? You mean larva. That's not good. Harry, they think you're food. Oh, there's no way I'm gonna be bug chow. Okay, larva, let's rumble. Ira, they're filling the place up with some kind of amber fluid. Amber fluid? Sounds like some form of amniotic fluid for that larva. Harry doesn't have long. I heard that! Don't worry, we'll get to you. Hurry! Dr. Kane, uh, this is kind of slippery. <laughs> Civilians. Nice shortcut, Wayne. Doc, 
You better take a look at this. Wait, Lieutenant. They're worker drones. They won't attack unless provoked. Harry's up here to the right. Man, you're slippery! You ever consider a career in politics? These cells contain an evolving queen wasp. When they hatch, they'll fly out and establish other hives. In exactly 16.7 days, the genus wasps will outpopulate humans by four to one. How you doing, Harry? Everything's fine, Ira. If your idea of fine is being sealed into a honeycomb prison with a plump, hungry worm that's just itching to eat you, and you're up to your neck and bug juice. Hang on, Harry. I'm opening the cell. The wall must have a strong alkaline content. It's neutralizing the acid before it has a chance to burn through. Doc. This is no time for Chemistry 101. Here, you dropped this earlier. First, let me say goodbye to my cellmate. Wayne, this is no time for dancing. I'm not dancing. I'm scratching. My, my back's all itchy. You're getting ready to mutate, Wayne. Fascinating. Whoa! I was hoping you'd show up. I never got a chance to say thanks for the ride. Now that Harry's okay, we need to finish what we started. Following the logic of wasp and beehives, I'm pretty sure that we'll find the queen wasp two levels down and towards the center. We've got to get there fast. Uh, Dr. Kane, I think we're too late. Follow me. This way! Down this ventilation shaft! What's that, Gassy? Huh? You sent something? Oh, bo bo good Gassy, good Gassy. Oh, yes, you are. Oh, yes, you are. Sorry to break up this touching episode of Gassy Come Home, but we need to be on our toes here. There she is, the Queen Wasp. Oh, she's magnificent. Personally, she's not my type. Humans. Scopes! This is a new look for you, isn't it? Humans. You've learned to speak. Humans? Not an easy word to say. My first word was Dada. Your toy has taught us much. We of the genus learn swiftly, adapt quickly, overcome all things instantly. We are invulnerable. Excellent use of adverbs there, Scopes. I've got an adverb for you. It's bye-bye time. That's not an adverb. I know, but I'm on a roll here. Whoa. <laughs> Blue goo's not working, Ira. I'll be right with you, Harry. I just need to make a new mix. Hey! That chemistry kit was a Hanukkah gift from my Nana! I've got a backup plan. Run! Guys! Without my chemistry kit, there's no way we can devolve that thing. Dr. Kane, allow me. What's that? Standard issue field gear. A compact liquid nitrogen molecular charge with inline triple retort. A what? An ice bomb. Oh. Oh. 
The nitrogen will go off in three minutes. A radius of 1,000 feet will be reduced to minus 50 degrees within 0 .06 seconds. Does that give us enough time to get out? No, but that's never stopped us before. Uh, Harry's right. The exit is only 500 feet from here. Straight up. Is it too late to change the plan? Hey, I can fly us all out of here. No, Wayne, you won't get enough lift. All of us are too heavy. You three go on. I'll catch my own ride. Mm. Ah! Come on, let's go. I hope she knows what she's doing. Let's go, Wayne. to learn. Let it go! The most important lesson you need to know is don't mess with humanity, pal. We're small, but we're tough. <laughs> See ya! it all down. Well, guys, we did it. We came. We saw. We wiped out the genus. Put that in your report to General Woodman, Lieutenant Lucy, and be sure to spell my name right. Ira. I-R-A, with a little smiley face above the eye. Hey, can you get Sportsnet on this thing? I'm trying to find out the results of the Samoan Tug of War finals. Don't worry, Harry. You can catch up on all the sports you want back at the college. We're in for a long break. Guys, more bad news. There's been another genus outbreak. I'm sending you the details. Wayne? You got it, Dr. Kane. <laughs> Let's go save the world again. My farm? What happened? Hey, Mac, did you miss a big day? Dear Mr. Farmer, we sincerely apologize for having destroyed your farmhouse and soybean crop. Please contact General Woodman at the Center for Impending Disasters for full compensation. Have a nice day. Sincerely, the Alienators. Oh. 